The paper we are going to uh, present deals with Dreamfeld quasi-modular forms. In order to uh, present uh, some of our results, uh, we are going to introduce now some notations. Let A be the polynomial ring in theta, K its fraction field, K is endowed with the theta minus 1 eddic valuation. Uh, for this valuation, we can complete k and obtain the uh, field k infinite. We can also uh, take the algebraic closure of k infinite, complete it for the valuation, and obtain a field C, which is at once algebraically, co uh, algebraically closed and complete. We now define omega to be the set C minus the line K infinite. This is a proper analog of the complex upper half plane. In this theory, three functions are well known. These are the functions E, G, H, defined over omega with the values in C. In fact, G and H are uh, Dreamfeld modular forms of weights Q minus 1 and Q plus 1 respectively. E is not a modular form, but has functional properties, and we can associate to E the weight 2. The weights of E, G and H define a grading on M tilde, the polynomial algebra in E, G, H with coefficients in C. This algebra has dimension 3. With this notation, we indicate the C vector space whose elements are those f in M tilde, which, have, which are homogeneous of weight W, and such that their degrees in E are less than or equal to L. We refer to this degree as to the depth of a polynomial, so that E has depth 1, G has depth 0, and H has depth 0. The weight is denoted by W, and the depth is denoted by L. In this theory, there is a parameter at infinity of the space omega. This parameter depends on Z in this space by the following formula. To every element f in M tilde, there exists a unique expansion, as this, in powers of u, with coefficients a n in c. If f is non-zero, then there exists a smallest integer n zero, such that the corresponding coefficients is not zero. We call this integer the order of vanishing of f at infinity. One of the problems uh, we deal with in this paper is the following. For fixed integers w and l, how much can a non-zero form in this space vanish at infinity? We found the following conjecture reasonable. The order of vanishing above is bounded by the following quantity, where c is a constant depending on Q only. We solved the conjecture only in the case in which L is less than or equal to Q squared by means of an explicit construction of two families of Dreamfeld quasi-modular forms which are extremal in the sense that they vanish at infinity as much as possible. Similar constructions were made by Kaneko and Koike in recent works. Our paper contains also several results on differential structure of the infant quasimodular force.